Star Trek The Animated Series Short Show Review. This gives us the last two years of the five-year mission of the Starship Enterprise that the original series only gave us the first three years of. And yeah, we rejoin our characters from that and we're given a few new alien bridge officers. This really takes advantage of the animation's freedom to excuse me, create excuse me, non-humanoid aliens excuse me, and animate them very yeah, just, you know, have them move in ways that would be extremely difficult to produce in live action and we get a lot of yeah, these non-humanoid aliens, planets, technology, ships that are just, you know, immensely detailed, often, you know, the, the planets and the ships will be vast and, yeah, just very nicely varied and, yeah, and it also gives us some really compelling science fiction concepts. The actors do impeccable voice, you know, yeah, voice performances, you know, these are these are film actors, so the fact that they can so comfortably transition into doing just voice acting is very impressive. I don't know if it was the actors themselves or the direction they got, but the result is great. The This has a few new technologies on the ship itself, and in general a few changes from the original series. It aired as a Saturday morning cartoon, but is smarter and more mature than a lot of them. But this was one of a number of live action, two animated series, you know, done in the 70s. Others include Happy Days, Mark and Mindy, Laverne and Shirley, The Partridge Family, and The Dukes of Hazard. It really gets the essence of Star Trek. It's about the characters. It gives us these really compelling and memorable, you know, alien, yeah, you know, life, planets and such, and it asks really interesting questions. And, yeah, the, it has a total of 22 episodes in the two seasons. Each episode is roughly 20 minutes, not, you know, without any, you know, commercials and such. And this, you know, that's that's less than half the length of your average. You know, the, the, the original series had episodes that were around 50 minutes. You know, not the 42 minutes that we usually have today. So, yeah, that means the, the pace has got to be a lot tighter. There, there are no real two-parters here. You know, there are a few sequel episodes to the original series, but yeah, each story here is sufficiently self-contained. And yeah, it really means that they they keep to a very fast pace. A lot can happen in the 20 minutes without it really overwhelming you. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.